Hi, this is Sophia Rowe of Content Sparks. I'm going to give you guys a really quick tutorial today on how to change the colour of your smart art graphics. Now, you're going to want to do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, to make your uh, content look as attractive as, as you can, and also to incorporate your branding into your content. You'll find the smart art graphics are used in the course books as well as the slideshow and also as individual. Uh, images as well that are shared, given to participants. They're mainly used as a way to uh, provide people that are taking the course with a really quick high level overview of certain key uh, concepts or topics. Uh, it's a lot easier to take things in when they're produced in this format. Uh, you can take things in at a glance and they're a lot easier to remember. So anyway, to get started then to make these smart art graphics more your own and more uh, adherent to your own brand, you're going to want to start by putting your logo in here. So we're going to do that by going to, first of all, to view and then clicking on the slide master button. Click on the first slide on the left hand side um, window there and then go over to insert pictures and then picture from file. Find your logo image and then it will drop it immediately in the centre of the slide. Now the reason that we're putting this in the master slide is because if we do it this way it will add it to every single slide in your slideshow. You don't have to add it to each and every one and if you've got even over 10 slides that's when it starts to get a real pain having to do one at a time. So you'll see that we've got uh, again, like I said, it's dropped just straight in the middle of our slide there. We actually want that down in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, we would also like it to be a little bit smaller than that because it's a bit in your face there. So we'll just make that a little smaller, leave it there. And then when we're done, go ahead and click on Close Master to go back to the main slideshow screen. Now you'll see, as I mentioned, that it is in each of the slides in the bottom right hand corner where we left it. So the next step then is to create our colour scheme going to do that by going to the design ribbon. Go ahead and go over to the right hand window here where you'll see the coloured blocks. Click on the drop down menu, click on colours and then scroll down through the different uh, theme colours that you've got here. These, Most of these are preset in PowerPoint. We could click on any of these and it would change the colours throughout our slideshow to match those but we don't want to do that because we want this to be customised. We want this to have our brand colours on it and to match everything else that we create. So we'll go ahead and click on customise colours at the very bottom which will open up this window where we can create our theme colours. To change the colours of the uh, graphics what we really need to do is change these accent colours. These are the ones that are really important here. Now I want these to match our content spark colours because we've already pulled our logo into the file, I can pull the colours from this logo to create my colour theme. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the little coloured button next to Accent 1 and then using the pipette tool to scroll over our teal colour there. Just give it a click and it will pick it up and automatically pop it in there. Same for Accent 2, again click on that coloured square there, go to the pipette colour and we're going to pull in our orange which is a little different to that preset orange there. And it will change it there. Accent 3, let's do the same again and we'll use that lovely rich indigo colour there. For Accent 4, we'll pull the grey from our content part of our logo. So find the darkest grey that you can in that image there. If you wanted to make any changes to these colours you could do so right here. We could make this a little bit darker for example. And then Accent 5, I'm going to repeat that teal colour. Let me just pull that one from here and it's a little bit easier. Accent 6 will go with our orange and then we don't actually use any hyperlinks uh, in these graphics but if we were to do so we could use our indigo colour there. We'll give this one a name. Let's call this one colour theme 1 and then go ahead and click save. You'll see then that all of these colours are immediately thrown into each of the graphics that we've got in our file here. They automatically pop up on each one, which is great, at which point you can just hit save and you're ready to go. You can export these as uh, PNGs, as PDFs, 
but most of you will probably want to know then how to put these new colours into your uh, Word document, into your course book. Now to do that, what we want to do is go ahead and run on over to our course book, main course. If you scroll down and find one of these images, you'll see this is still the old colour theme that we've got. We want to introduce our new colour theme. Well, luckily, PowerPoint and Word, obviously being both office programs, will remember the themes that you create and you can use them um, from either, either or program. So go ahead and click on colours there. And you'll see that our colour theme one is automatically listed at the top. Click on that one and it will immediately then bring those same colours that you've just created in PowerPoint into your Word document as well. And it will update all of those smart art graphics that have all been introduced and will work in the same way. This will only work with smart art graphics. Uh, smart art are created, as I mentioned, with Office. It's not going to work with any other standard PNG or JPEGs or anything like that. So make sure that you, you are using the smart art graphics in the course book and then you can change them really quickly and easily across the board. So there we go. If you guys have any questions at all, uh, just drop them in the comments.